Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Owen Fox. I am a spiritual life coach. I work, do spiritual life counselling. I've written two books and I'm passionate about inner growth, healing, um, having the best life possible, the healthiest life possible, body, mind and spirit. And I also own a herb shop and I'm a mad natural fan of nature and natural living. Uh, um, today's video I want to make a video um, I've got a question on YouTube and I just thought I may as well make a video about it because it's like too long of a thing to just okay I've got two questions so this one I'll just deal with like um, what do you, where like where do you get your protein from because I'm on a raw vegan diet and I don't like people don't know about protein so like, this question is like where do you get your protein from or like the whole protein thing, guys, I have to tell you, in case you haven't already known, it's just a big um, lie, it's a big joke, it's a big ridiculous lie, it's a big fat lie to trick people. It's made by the meat and dairy and pharmaceutical companies who are extremely corrupt and they're treated the worst things you can take, meat, dairy, or like factory farmed meat, um, factory farmed dairy, and even any dairy I feel is just like, just not a good thing to take. Some people say if they take raw organic dairy, it might they might feel better or good. Okay, I'm willing to accept maybe that can be good for you as as well as possibly congestive and maybe acidic. So I'm not ruling that out. But factory farmed any form of factory farmed dairy, meat, or pharmaceuticals which are made by the drug companies, they aren't good for you whatsoever. And the reason why um, they try and they try and advertise the worst things for you on the news is good for you people, my friends. They try and say like take the drugs like even a few decades ago they were saying smoke if you're a pregnant woman smoke cigarettes it's really good for you it'll help you relax yeah and nowadays they're just doing the exact same thing but it's not cigarettes they used to be cocaine and coca cola and um, it is huge corruption on the planet and you can see it in your local governments I'm sure and um, you know a lot of money taking etc lies and power so um, I'm I like being alive, I'm excited to deal with the challenges on earth and make positive changes within myself and to be a positive role model and to show people that a positive role model looks like a healthy role model, a healthy dad, a healthy person, a healthy man, um, a mature, spiritually mature person and they can take responsibility and live their life and be powerful like and empowered. So I, I never get doom and gloom about it, this world and it's not even one iota guys, not even a smidgen. I'm excited about the changes coming. Like when we all work together and we all claim our power again, we heal and take responsibility. That's when we'll change the planet. So you've heard of probably the Illuminati or the Cabal or the old, the New World Order, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna call them, I call them the Old World Order now, because they're losing their power. And today it's a very stressful time for them at this period of time, because they are losing their power, and there's massive shifts happening since, well, for a long time, including 2012. So they control the meat, dairy and drug industries. Um, the FDA in America, or the American people who are at the top, controlled by the cabal, they, the, F, the cabal and the Illuminati control the American um, governments, they control many of the world governments, they are seated at the power of many, 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 many countries. So that's why the world is, has been sort of screwed up. And even the um, World Health Organization, WHO, they even made it public that they plan on reducing the population by like billions. So how are they going to do that? Maybe something like <laughs> some sort of global disease or poisoning our water and poisoning the food supply and all sorts of stuff that's going on guys. I'll tell you the news, it's complete a joke and so and I don't get disheartened, just be a positive role model and heal yourself. Get informed and by watching this video you're doing what I suggest. What do I suggest? I suggest getting getting informed and getting educated because when you get informed and educated that's when you have power the highest powerful beings that I know the angels archangels these like light beings they know all of this stuff they don't have their blinkers on they're not like they don't have the wool pulled over their eyes they know about all of this stuff that I'm saying they aren't disempowered they just know and they they know and they, they can get if they were here on earth they'd be doing exactly what I'm doing they'd be taking action to to inform, educate, inspire, and to heal. So the whole protein thing is an absolute lie. So don't be fooled. And I say that with love from my heart, like I'd say to my like child or family member. 
don't buy into it anymore. It's a lie. And it's very bad for you generally. Protein is like made out of amino acids. And like it's a chain of amino acids. The same way as a lawn is made out of grass. Gen like and other things. Well, that, in, protein is made out of just amino acids as far as I'm aware. Okay. Just, they're just in a chain. And when, like, when we... When we... Um, when we eat protein, we have to then body has to work very hard to break it down into the amino acids because we use amino acids. Our body doesn't use protein; it uses amino acids. We should stop using the word protein and say amino acids, if you want to be clearer. Like gorillas, elephants, bonobos, chimpanzees, um, wildebeests, giraffes, um, rhinos. These are all vegetarians. They're basically like all vegan. They might have some insects in the grass, sure. But they're basically mostly like 99% vegan. So I know chimps might eat other chimps or for power purposes a few times per year. It's like killing them. <laughs> and I'm not kind of, I'm not going to But they're basically like raw, everything, they're all raw vegans I mentioned. And there, look at the musculature on an elephant. Where do you get your protein from, elephant? Yeah, so don't be, don't be fooled. Don't be a fool and don't be fooled. And that's no insult to you, but just don't be a fool and don't be fooled. Get informed and get educated. So, amino acids are like bricks to a wall. Now, if you were building a house, okay, which is your body, imagine you're building your body, you're building a house. Would you want to buy walls from secondhand old houses, or would you rather have new pristine bricks? And that's what it's like when you eat this shit. You get new bricks. You get the original stuff right there, like ready for you to actually eat and construct the cells from. So. Is there anything else I can say just for a bit of more information and education about protein? Getting like sec other DNA can possibly trigger a white um, blood cell immune system response because your body recognizes it as a foreign matter, just like it might recognize various forms of maybe bacteria or different um, living organisms or different genetic organisms coming into your body. Now, I am not 100% sure, this is what I've read, um, and I question studies, I'm open minded, but I'm skeptical. So, but I am open-minded, but I'm also not a dummy who just believes everything I hear. So there is a good chance, it's, I believe it's probably more likely to be true. If you're eating meat and stuff, your, body, your immune system in your body may have a, a reaction where it's like something foreign that I don't really, I'm just skeptical of. I, it might be an invader or like a foreign matter of genetical material that I don't really want. Like even last night I was talking to my friend who lives here in my house. Um, which I'm sharing in, like, not my house. He was saying that, like, he, when he f gave up meat, he felt so much lighter, he felt better. He ended up sleeping, like, he even said hours, like, three, up to two to three hours less per night, which I find that a little bit hard to believe, that maybe he was exaggerating without even realising, maybe he wasn't. <laughs> but it's, I never really heard people sleeping that much less per night, because meat's very heavy. It's, it's generally toxic if it's not organic and it's just polluted a lot if it's not organic, a lot. It's heavy to digest, it's thick, it's like eating a brick. Whereas eating this is like eating water. Like we are water beings, Our, remember, think about a baby. You're young and you're like a baby, you're flexible and youth is characterized by, by hydration and water. When you get old, then you get dry, crumpled up and dehydrated brittle, inflexible, you snap and you break, then you die. So we are water beings guys and you want to keep well hydrated. Um, this stuff is kick ass. I'm, I've been eating all raw now, like I've been eating 95 to 97, 98% all raw now or raw for around six weeks now and I'm gaining massive strength and muscle. I feel better than I felt in 13 years since I had a big massive injury which changed the course of my life. It was, it was a really horrible experience at the time, basically, superficially, physically, but spiritually it was like brilliant, fantastic and great and I'm thankful. <laughs> but yeah, no fun on, this, on the physical or temporary level. Now, for the first time, from having Warren, this, my, uh, distilled water, I'm going to put up a link here, um, or just type in what in what is Warren and check out um, Check out um, AquariusTheWaterBearer.com if you want to find out more about this. Aquarius the Water Bearer. So t by taking Oran, by taking raw food 
and by just simply practicing celibacy, which is now sexual activity. So I've been doing this for like around six weeks. My life's transformed and trans changed mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically. I'm t 10 times stronger than I used to be. That's a, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but I feel phenomenal. And, and I'll leave you with that. So um, just Google search if you want to learn more about it. Um, protein and amino acids. It's the same lie about dairy guys. It's probably the worst thing you could take if it's especially, especially if it's factory farmed. It's the most polluted substance ever. Meat, dairy, pharmaceuticals, they'll interfere with your pineal gland, your sixth sense, your third eye, your interdimensional portal and capacity to travel out of body, lucid dream, be psychic, contact the spirit world, have oh, so much stuff guys, in intuitive and energy sensitive. Um, don't be poisoned. Don't drink tap water. Get a filter and get stilled water, by the way. Stilled water is the best. Um, and if you're interested in holistic spiritual life coaching with me, which is really, really helpful to people, got some really, really good testimonials. Um, I'd highly recommend myself, generally speaking. Um, but you'll be guided if, if, if it's meant to be. Um, I'm not being arrogant or smug. I'm just saying... For the right people at the right time, it can help a lot. Um, and you'll know if that person is you. <laughs> um, I'm doing a 55% discount at the moment. I also have it when new subscribers from my herb shop, you get 20, you're off your first order. Off joining the mailing list, you get 20% off your first order to give you a chance and an opportunity to surf my website and to have a look what herbs you might be interested in. And at, on the left hand side, do have a look because you can see all the different categories. Um, different things for different people and different situations, different conditions or whatever. Um, and if you're interested in buying my books, my last book is the one I'd recommend the most, Emotional Mastery. I have more coming in the range, um, Relationship Mastery, um, other stuff, Health, um, Health and Beauty. So, and I'll, have, I'll be doing workshops in the future as well, in Ireland, if you're interested in coming along from England or the, or the UK or whatever, or Ireland. Okay, well, thanks for your time, and I hope this video helped. Send me love and best wishes. Love for my heart, love for my heart chakra, and live a lovely life today and make the day count. Um, seize the day and be happy and be healthy. And if you need any help from me or other people, don't forget, it's good to reach out. Even if it's not me, just go forward. It's fun to go forward and expand and to heal. <laughs> okay, bye, everybody. Take care. Have a lovely day. Lots of love.